Burning is a 2018 South Korean drama from acclaimed art house director Lee Chang Dong and loosely based on a short story from Haruki Murakami. The plot is difficult to describe without spoilers, but it begins with an awkward young man in the city of Seoul reconnecting with a girl from childhood and meeting her mysterious rich new friend. I wasn't crazy about Burning at first, but I definitely warmed up to it as it went along, especially when it ventures into more lyrical, poetic territory. It's an enigmatic character study that sort of sneaks up on you, with what might be considered the main thrust of the plot not becoming clear until around halfway through, and by the end there are still many unanswered questions. Burning is a subtle, ambiguous film that gives no easy answers, but touches on topics like loneliness, alienation, and consumerism. It's quite cerebral and rewards multiple viewings, with many different viable interpretations. The movie is quite long at just under two and a half hours, and it's certainly deliberately paced with a sparse plot. The acting is good all around, and the standout is American actor Steven Yeun making his Korean language debut as Ben, who gives a hint of his character's dark side without hitting you over the head with it. John Jung Seo is impressive as Hai Mi considering it was her first acting job. Yu Ah In is also understated and effective as the film's lead. The cinematography isn't ostentatious, but it's definitely well done, with long takes that really let the scenes breathe. The only times when it's super noticeable is in the striking use of silhouettes. A lot of the film is without music, but I liked what's there as it's atmospheric and distinctive. There's even a piece included from Miles Davis, one of the all-time jazz greats. Burning is definitely not for everyone, but anyone who likes arthouse film should at least give it a chance. Burning was the first Korean film chosen for the shortlist for the Best Foreign Film Academy Award, but missed out on a nomination, despite many predicting it getting in. The film got a great critical reception with a 94% on Rotten Tomatoes and a 90% on Metacritic. That's all for this review. Please don't forget to subscribe, and thanks for listening.